Welcome to Agenda Edina, a program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. The Edina Garden Council's plan for a tranquility garden at Arneson Acres Park has taken root. The $50,000 project planned and funded by the Edina Garden Council includes paver walkways, smooth rock paths, and sitting areas with large boulders. It's a renovation of, a, of a, a space we've had for many, many years, and it's going to have many unique, beautiful plantings and, and places to sit and contemplate, celebrate, rejuvenate, photo opportunities, and it's, it's going to be just uniquely beautiful. The Tranquility Garden was designed by Studio Suki and BE Landscape Designs. Construction will be overseen by the city and Studio Suki. The first phase of the project will be complete later this year. Other phases of the garden will be constructed as additional money is raised. Residents or businesses with ash trees on their properties should have them treated against emerald ash borer in the next couple of months if they haven't done so already. That's the recommendation of Edina's Forester. Emerald ash borer, an insect that has killed millions of ash trees across the eastern United States, was found in Edina in April 2018. It is expected to wipe out all untreated ash trees in the Twin Cities. While the extremely cold temperatures this winter killed off some of the larvae, the infestation is expected to continue to spread. As of 2018, Edina had an estimated 50,000 ash trees, most of them located on private property. Chemical treatments can help protect healthy ash trees or those minimally affected by the pest. Application must be done every two to three years. City Forester Luther Overholt recommends having an arborist or tree care professional inject ash trees with the treatment in spring. Uh, the spring is the best time to treat your ash tree because the tree is already naturally circulating uh, all of the water and nutrients from the, the roots up to the top of the tree. So when you do the injections, uh, it more uh, thoroughly covers the entire tree. Overholt says treatments spread on the ground aren't effective for trees larger than 10 inches in diameter and also contaminate the surrounding soil and potentially groundwater with the chemical. People who choose not to treat their ash trees should remove them before they become infected so they don't contribute to the spread or pose a hazard when they die and fall. The city of Edina is treating prominent ash trees on city property, such as those near ball fields and along boulevards. The city council also recently approved an ordinance amendment, giving Overholt more authority to address tree and plant pests like emerald ash borer. Anyone with an ash tree on their property should contact an arborist or tree care professional to evaluate the tree and their options. Edina Liquor has always worked to provide quality and convenience to patrons of the city-owned liquor stores. Now they've added a free service that brings that quality and convenience right to resident stores. Join us as Edina TV takes a look at Edina Liquor's new delivery service. If you've purchased anything online, this is going to look and feel very, very similar to what you've done in the past. Okay, so this is yet another story about online shopping. What's the big deal? It's not like we're buying booze or anything, right? It might sound scary to go online and, and buy your booze and things like that and, and expect us to get it out to your door, but, but it's not. It's not a daunting process at all. Wait, what? I'm going to encourage everybody just to get out there and check out the website and, and uh, you know, kind of plot those dates that are important to you to stay at home and let us run the beer out to you on, the, uh, on your patio. So let's get this straight. The Edina Liquor Stores are now starting a service where you can go online, select a product, pay for it, and it'll get delivered to your house? Hi. Hello. Hi. Dino Liquor, I have your delivery today. We'll get to the house. We'll usually read off what we have in the bag, and then we'll get your ID and match it to the ID on top of the order. The person that places the order is the person that needs to be there and receiving the order, and, and we will check that ID at the point of, uh, of delivery. Thank you so much. But what about the cost? You know, delivery fees and stuff. You are paying only for the products that you want. Uh, there's no delivery charge associated. As city employees, we, we can't accept tips uh, for, for gratuity as well. So, you know, that's absolutely not expected when we get to, the, get to your door. So, say I just invited some folks over and couldn't get to the store. How quick will my stuff get there? We'll bring it out to your house within two hours. Hmm. 
but I'll bet there's probably only three or four things available. So as of right now, you're still going to get to sort through about 3,500 products, which is pretty aggressive at launch. And we hope to expand that out to about 4,000 to 4,500 products um, shortly before the end of the year. So I can order anytime online, and the deliveries take place throughout all of Edina, Monday through Friday, 3 to 8 p.m., noon to 8 p.m. on Saturdays, and noon to 5 p.m. on Sundays. That seems pretty convenient. If you got uh, five minutes on your lunch break, we're going to save you an hour and a half at the end of the day, and that's really important to us. A minimum order of $35 is required for Edina Liquor's free delivery service. There are no order minimums for in-store pickup. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. <laughs>